it's time to relieve your acid reflux by taking a breath. Check this out. So how is a physio supposed to help you with acid reflux, that symptom of burning pain in the chest often referred to as heartburn? Well, it's simple. I see this a lot in the clinic and I see it in conjunction with a lot of other problems that people come through the door with. The same problems relating to a poor circulation and that poor circulation coming as a result of a suppressed diaphragm. Your diaphragm is your main breathing muscle. Your diaphragm is located at the bottom of your rib cage. It wraps all the way around on the inside of the rib cage. Now the important part to bear in mind with your diaphragm is that it is also considered to be the floor of the heart and the ceiling of the stomach. That is, it divides the two sections of your thoracic cavity. Take a look at this image, and I want you to see how that diaphragm is designed. We're looking up inside the rib cage now, as if we're looking up the inside and top of a tent. And when you look at that image, it's labeled to show you where you have these three hiatus, these three openings through the diaphragm. Check out that opening right in the middle of the diaphragm. That is your esophageal hiatus. That means it's the opening for the pipe to go through that carries your food to your stomach. So where does this all fit in? It's so simple, okay? When you take something into the mouth to eat, when you drink, you are passing it down through your esophagus. It travels down through the cervical, the neck part of the esophagus, into the thoracic part, the middle back part of the esophagus, and eventually through your diaphragm, and then into your stomach. Now, if you suffer with heartburn, before you start taking that medication, lanzaprazole, omeprazole, the acid-reducing medication that the doctor's gonna prescribe you, I urge you to try this out first. The very likelihood of you having this reflux is more related to you suppressing your diaphragm. Now this relates more to, as we've said before, the posture that you're in the most causing most of your problems. So before you take any medication, consider how you're sitting, how you're spending most of your time during the day. And if you are rounding off, if you're sitting in a chair, looking at your screen again with your head going forwards, you're not only blocking the esophagus up at the throat, but you're compressing it at its hiatus, at its opening at the diaphragm. You're closing the diaphragm down by suppressing it at the front of the rib cage. So how do you fix it? It's really simple. All I want you to start practicing is some slow and low, deep abdominal breaths. Trickle the air in, breathe as slow as you can, and send that breath down into your stomach. In doing so, you're gonna to start to open up your rib cage, you're gonna flare the ribs apart, you're gonna work those intercostal muscles and stretch the ribs, but at the same time, you're gonna ask your diaphragm to work a lot harder. As you work that diaphragm, more so than you will do on a regular basis, you're gonna stretch it open, and as you stretch your diaphragm open, it takes the pressure off of those hiatuses, off of those openings. So it's not compressing your esophagus, it's not squeezing the esophagus, stopping the food going into the stomach and sending it back up, causing that heartburn. You start to expand the chest as you were designed to do, as you used to do when you were a kid. So, really simple. If you wanna try and fix your acid reflux symptoms, that feeling of burning in the throat, in the chest, the heartburn symptom that you're getting, really simple, regular, deep abdominal breaths. Expand your rib cage. Give it a go, let me know how you get on. If you're having any more problems with it and you want to ask, feel free. Details are along the bottom of the screen. See you in a bit.